it's really cool. Um, been a lot of years of hard work, and um, it's really special to do it with the same people that I've been playing with for a lot of years now. Um, it's just really cool and special. It's hard to put it into words. When did it come on your radar? Kind of before the season, because everybody was saying something about it or asking questions. I mean, I think you saw it today, and um, yeah, I mean, she's incredible. She's been so fun to coach, and you know, I can't take an ounce of any of it. I mean, it is, it's, it's self-made, it's love of the game, it's, um, you know, she just plays with a joy, and I think when you do that, really good things find you. When you, when you work hard, and you know, she's the first to give credit to other people, I think she's really special. Taylor, for you, is there a, I guess, a sense of relief when that shot goes in? I don't know if it's like a looming over you, but relief, excitement. What goes through your mind when that shot falls? <clears throat> um, I haven't really been trying to think too much about it while I'm playing and just trying to play, but knowing that just needed one more, being able to make the one, and then now it's just like, now we can just play, try to win the game, and we don't have to worry about it and don't have to answer any more questions about it, can just <laughs> knock it out. <laughs> Yeah, we've been asked a lot about it. <laughs> Coach, what were they able to do in the second quarter to kind of, you know, arrest your momentum a little bit? It seemed like they went inside maybe, or what were they able to do to kind of maybe slow you down a little bit and get back in the game? Well, I think, you know, basketball is a game of runs, so um, they're good. I mean, they're a good basketball team. They're a really good basketball team, and we fouled, obviously, way too much. And, um, yeah, we, we just can respond better. But I think they're good. How would you describe what Ashley was able to do there in the second quarter where she just started pouring in shot after? Yeah, I mean, when she gets, you know, when she gets on fire from three-point range, it's, it's hard to guard her. And... Um, and she gets to the free throw line a lot, and that you know that's double whammy because then you're in foul trouble and she's getting points. So I think from that standpoint, uh, you know she's she's obviously a very decorated player. She's very talented. I've seen her, good God, since she was probably 12, you know, and know she's good. We all knew she was good, and I thought there were some areas that we did a really nice job, and then we just got in a lot of foul trouble. For either of you, uh, did that Iowa State team and kind of how they played feel or look any She drew nine than, fouls. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did that team look different than uh, the game where you guys beat them in Norman? No, it was a good game there too. And they got a little bit bigger lead here. But, um, you know, our game, in, our game in Norman was, I think there was like 25 lead changes, you know, nine ties. I mean, it was, it was a great basketball game. It was a great basketball game there. I think it was a pretty good basketball game here. There was just too much stop and play today to get like a really good flow. Um, yeah, I think I've made my point on that. <laughs> yeah, Jenny, is this sort of, you kind of know with the Big 12, you're gonna have to take <laughs> some body punches and, and come mm -hmm. back. Does this, the experience of this group help with that even out, though this was a tough week for you guys? Um. I guess that's a good question. I do feel like for us, I mean, a couple things. If you compare it to the last game against Texas, obviously we did a better job of taking care of the ball. We were still a little stagnant on offense sometimes. I think, you know, especially in that third quarter, that we came out really well and then we just kind of got stagnant. Um, I feel like we did a better job uh, in terms of just the effort areas and played hard. You know, we, I mean, playing at Texas was, just as loud as it was here today. And it was, I mean, it was a, they're great. I love that for women's basketball. I love, you know, in the game before that, we had a lot of people, you know, in the LNC. And so our crowds are continuing to grow. It's an incredible environment. You know, for as much as we say people don't value women's basketball, come watch, because people do. Um, and then I think tonight, again, you know, I mean, we have, one, two, three, four people in, with four fouls. I mean, that's something that we have, and, and that's been part of us. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not blaming anybody else. We're looking in the mirror first. We've got we've to stop doing that. But I think 
when a lot of our experience is in foul trouble and has two in the first half, that's we've got to be better. But can you just put in perspective, um, to be such a great three-point shooter, what you've had to do? It probably goes back to being a little kid, just practice and practice and practice, and just to talk about that to, to reach this type of goal. I think the main thing is consistency. Um, I've been consistent since I was since I could even pick up a ball, um, and just doing it over and over. And as a shooter, you got to shoot the same way every time. So just nailing down the fundamentals and always believing that you're going to make it. Because when you've put in hours and hours of work at one thing, you're going to be good at it and just believe that you're always going to make the next shot, whether you made your last five or missed your last five. Jen, you saw Roy Kane first in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, and, and you've seen Wade with and coached against great three-point shooters. How, how Taylor ranks in that group. I mean, she's number one, um, obviously, mm -hmm. not just number one, Yeah, I mean, you're right, uh, you know, because Lori was pretty special too. And I think what makes Taylor so unique, and, you know, and I saw Kelsey Mitchell play plenty, um, and Kelsey was a scorer, you know, and I think what makes Taylor so unique is I think she just loves the game so much. And you can tell she has built it herself. This is not something that, oh, she's just really good, right? Like she has literally worked and rolled up her sleeves and taught herself how to do this. And not that other people don't do that, but she's, she's an incredible basketball player. She's not just a shooter. So I think her feel for the game, I think her, her passing ability, I think she's great. Court vision, she'll beat any and any one of you in NBA trivia. Um, so I think from a basketball junkie standpoint, a lot of times we don't see shooters like that. And I think that has really separated. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.